Hey everyone, Ryan Crutch here. Today I'm gonna review A Quiet Place. So I'm gonna try to remain quiet a little bit. Shh. I don't want to attract those alien or creatures. I can refer them as creatures because they did look like aliens in this. And uh, when you see this movie, you're gonna get, you will get a close up to see the anatomy and what they kind of look like and everything. And uh, how they do to pick up vibe. Vibe is their tool to uh, hunt you down. So you want to remain quiet. And well, uh, speaking on along the line of that, uh, John Krasinski, who acts in this, is the director, and he gets to direct his beautiful wife Emily Blunt, which is you, get, you have a good solid cast in this, along with the kids. The kids in, in this are brilliant, I gotta say. And uh, I got right now uh, one for the, their kids is a, a deaf, and uh, from what I read to it, they uh, actually cast a, a real life person that is deaf, and. Uh, that kind of helped with the point that the environment and I got to say this t talented young actress is a brilliant actress in which I hope she is continues on from acting because she nails this ca uh, character really good I uh, played the daughter of Emily and uh, John in this movie and uh, there's uh, two other kids in this movie just as well and I just want to say this movie J John's point of view on this for being a director on this is brilliant extraordinary I can go on with so many words uh, good adjective words that uh, describe goodness and everything this is a great movie now I'm gonna say right away this is my first a plus of the year this as well it's not many movies I, I can give uh, to be, get that great and everything I actually I think I it's been a while actually when I think about it but um, I get actually I get I like really, I gave a, 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 a black panther a good grade too I gave it a, a, an a but this quiet place is high above and when i saw this movie too there's i i almost want to say these creatures seem like aliens almost and i'm gonna bring this up a little bit because if you remember those uh, cloverfield movies um they kind of seem like that you got the first cloverfield that came out a while back ago then the next one was uh 10 cloverfield lane then uh, i haven't seen it yet but it's on netflix uh, is the cloverfield uh, paradox and uh I, I want to just pull this out because I, I did uh, learn that uh, at one point they were considering to make this a Cloverfield uh, movie, but this movie does stand alone. Uh, it's, it is a creature movie. I don't define this out as, as a horror movie. It, it is a thriller. So it will keep you on your feet, on the edge of your seat sort of thing. Yes. <laughs> but um, this movie just stands alone on its own two feet. It gives you what you want. Uh, it lives in the environment. Uh, this is called a quiet place. It is actually a quiet movie. So uh, most of the time, they use a sign language that, uh, to talk to each other, uh, to the uh, parents, to the kids, uh, every which way, whoever the, uh, who's talking to whom. So it, it's one of those concepts, yes. And I'm just happy to see a movie. I can actually give a movie an A plus because it's a brilliant film. It's a movie. Uh, when I mentioned uh, Ten Cloverfield uh, uh, Lane. You, uh, if you've seen that movie, you can see how well uh, those actors uh, work with each other, especially in a small group. There's a very uh, less people. I don't, I don't think there's no more than five or six people in the cast in that movie. Along with this movie, you're going to get around the same uh, amount of people uh, in the movie, five or six. You don't need that many actors in a film if you don't want to. You look at the adventures with the big cast assembled, you don't need all that. I, I know that's a different concept and everything, but... A movie like A Quiet Place, uh, in its uh, surroundings and everything, uh, you're going to think invasion, so there's not going to be much people around. If there is, it's going to be people like uh, these uh, people in the, uh, in the movie, with a family trying to survive in the house, trying to survive, not get, uh, make a sound with these aliens and everything. So that's a little, that's gripping, I got to say that. that. And that's the reason it, this story just grips me a, a lot, because... It, it can happen, uh, maybe one of these days, maybe far off from now, hopefully. It doesn't really happen in our, my lifetime or someone else's. But uh, I think that that's the part of the fun of going to Muzo. It's, it's just living that universe, trying to uh, see what person comes up with something next, what director comes up with something more brilliant, stuff like that. It, 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 that's the concept of have, don't learn the movie, though. It's just having fun, and I had a, such an excellent a, a crowd at, at the theater. Uh, people, <laughs> I gotta mention this because this, this was funny because 
uh, uh, during the, the end, I'm not going to give anything away. Uh, people were tr trying to uh, actually try to, to talk after finally after the ending credits and everything. Since it's the movie so quiet, and uh, the person next to me, I wasn't trying to be rude or anything. It's just they were trying to eat popcorn and stuff like that. It's just since the movie's so quiet, you're going to pick up every single detail from each and everybody in the theater. So I thought that was kind of funny. So w with that in thought, I'm going to end this. And I'm really going to hope to see that you guys at the movies. Okay? Thank you for watching. And I am Ryan Crutch.